Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pizza fans of all ages. My name is Mike and welcome to Pizza Mon Mario. And today we're here with a new Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl discussion video. We're five days removed now, I believe, from the Ultimate Edition releasing, which was not advertised at all by the devs for some reason. Now, most people think because of that Ultimate Edition that the devs are done with this game now, no more new content's coming, which I don't actually agree with because you still have crossplay coming, as evident by data mines. And then the Rocco showcase, they mentioned look forward to more like these in the future. So I still think more content is coming to the game soon. We just don't know what because the devs are more quiet than a 1920s silent film. But we're not talking about that today. We're talking about bosses. The possibility of adding boss battles to Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. I'm sure we can all agree that we can use some more game modes in this game, right? How about adding some boss battles? I think boss battles would really spice up the gameplay. Whether they add bosses to the arcade mode, or if they make a story mode, which I don't know how likely that is. Might not actually happen, but I'm just saying, they do add a story mode. They can have bosses there, or they can use a whole boss mode. Why not? I think in general, having bosses to fight would add something fresh to the gameplay. Not to mention that this game is severely lacking in villains. And we have Shredder and Zim, that's it. I mean, you could argue that Helga's kind of a villain, but I see her more of an anti-hero, so I don't think she really counts. But no matter how you slice it, we're severely lacking villains in this game. Now, I still think there could be some great villains added as playable characters later down the line, like Vlad Plasmius or Vexus from My Life as a Teenage Robot, or Plankton, if they can find a way to implement him. Either have him be with Karen or in a robot or something, like a Bowser Jr. like character. And there's other great Nickelodeon villains too. But I think adding boss fights would kind of balance things out, you know? As a way to kind of make up for the lack of villains in the playable roster. So, what I'm going to be doing for this video, I'm going to tell you guys some of my ideas for bosses. I'm going to tell you what their moves are, how you fight them, and so on. So, let's not waste any more time and get into that. So, go take a seat, get comfortable, grab your snacks and beverages, and let's get started. Okay, so the first boss we're going to be talking about for this video is Sheldon J. Plankton. If they can't make him a playable character, then I think they should add him as a boss, definitely, if they were to add bosses to the game. He could pilot a giant robot, kind of like the ones we saw in Plankton's Robot of Revenge, for instance. I know people don't like to talk about that game, but probably the best interpretation of what I'm talking about here. Now what I thought about is, instead of just fighting Plankton's robot, you could also fight his family as well. You know in the episode Plankton's Army, you got to see like Plankton's family and how they can like morph into different shapes and stuff, like a hand for instance? They can do something like that, but they still have the boss fight. Plankton will start by calling out his family. They can morph into like different shapes to attack you like a giant fist, or a hammer, or maybe a cannon to like shoot other members of the family at you. I think they'd be really creative with this kind of idea. And like once you defeat the family, Plankton will come out and will start attacking you. And then he'll shoot like lasers at you, or he'll grab you and toss you off the stage. And to defeat him, you'd have to attack the giant eyeball on the robot. Maybe there could be like different phases to this boss fight, like once you do a certain amount of damage to Plankton, he'll back up, send out his family again, and they'll transform into different kind of shapes to attack you with. And Plankton's robot can do some new moves, and he'll just keep going and getting harder as you progress through the fight, until you defeat Plankton once and for all. I think something like that could be cool for a boss fight with Plankton. Now there's another spun up character I thought could work as a boss, that being the Flying Dutchman. I mean, he already has a stage cameo in the Flying Dutchman ship stage, why not make him a boss as well? I mean, we've seen the Flying Dutchman as a boss in Spongebob games in the past, so why not here as well? For this boss fight, they can have the Flying Dutchman attack with different projectiles, like the eye lasers in Battle for Bikini Bottom, or like a fire bullet, that when you hit it, you'll get caught on fire, you take damage from that, or you can like leave the stage and send out a bunch of ghost minions, and you have to dodge them. Now, he'll mostly be in the background during these like, projectile attacks, but then he can teleport himself onto the stage itself, and that's how you can attack him. 
He can do like a dash attack maybe even when he's moving from one side of the stage to another. He can even try to whack you with his tail. He can throw his hat as like a boomerang. And eventually he'll go back into the background to attack you with his projectiles. You have to wait until he moves back to the stage so that you can attack him again. We'll just keep going until you defeat him. Yeah. I think that would be cool for a Flying Dutchman boss fight. Now the next character I want to talk about here that they work as a boss comes to us from the TMNT universe. And that is Crane. Who also makes a stage cameo in this game for the Techno Drum Takedown stage. Now Crane can be like a big bulky boss that doesn't move very much. You have to like run up to him to attack him. And then out of nowhere he'll do like a really big attack. You have to get out of the way before you get hit by it. And these attacks could include like he'll grab you and like shake you and like toss you across the stage. Maybe he's going to try to kick you across the stage. Like do like a ground punch possibly. Maybe you can even throw like projectiles at you. Like you can pick up like a giant rock and toss it at you. He could launch himself into the air and do like a giant stomp you have to dodge. He could even jump from one side of the stage to another. And there could be like a laser you have to jump over. You know like how in some boss fights when the boss jumps into the air and lands, they create like a laser on the ground or like some kind of thing like that you have to jump over? It'd be that kind of thing. Maybe Crane could even launch himself out of the body, try to latch onto you and attack you that way. And then you have to try to hit him back to the body before he grabs you. Kind of like Popple and Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. They're trying to grab your hammer and have to hit him before he grabs you. It'd be like that. I think all this could work for a crane boss fight. It'd be kind of interesting. Now I have another boss idea from the TMNT universe. That being Bebop and Rocksteady. Now if you guys remember a while back, when there was like cut content revealed for the game. One of those being Rocksteady, possibly being a playable character. Well... That never came to be, so let's make him a boss with Bebop. Now, how could this boss fight work, you ask? Well, there could be two phases to it. The first one being you're in a high speed chase against Bebop and Rocksteady. You have to chase them down in their truck while you're riding a skateboard. And this skateboard will just follow your every move, like when you jump and stuff. And the objective is to break down Bebop and Rocksteady's truck while they're shooting projectiles at you, like their laser guns and like maybe throwing bombs at you. Possibly. And like once you destroy the truck, the truck will crash into a wall, transitioning into the second phase of the fight. And then Bebop and Rock City will jump out of the truck, go on both sides of the screen, and you have to attack them both. Ribby and Croak style. And again, they'll be shooting their projectiles and they can do like a dash attack to try and squash you. You have to jump over that. And it'll keep going until you defeat both mutants. And they both have different health bars, by the way like Master Hand and Crazy Hand. Yeah, this would be a pretty cool boss fight for Bebop and Rocksteady. And those are two bosses that I created from the Team NT franchise. Probably could have made a Shredder boss fight, I guess, you know? They could probably implement him into a boss somehow, like Bowser and Giga Bowser, or Ganondorf and Ganon. But yeah. I'm gonna transition into the Danny Phantom universe to talk about Vlad Plasmius. Now, I do think Vlad could be a playable character as well, but I'm going to talk about how he can work as a boss character. Now, before the fight actually begins, the quick animation of Vlad Masters transforming into Vlad Plasmius. And then when the fight begins, he can, like, fly into the air. He can shoot his plasma lasers at you. He can, like, face through the stage and, like, come back on the other side. He can overshadow objects to be able to attack you with those. He could multiply himself with his duplication. You have to try to find the right Vlad and then attack him. You could even put up his ghost shield to block any kind of attack. You just have to keep on attacking him until he's dead, pretty much. Nothing more, nothing less. In a similar case with Vlad, you also have, in the Avatar universe, Fire Lord Ozai. Not much I can really say about this boss either. He'd just be like jumping around the stage, shooting different fire projectiles at you. Maybe can like hit you with like lightning strike. Azula can make an appearance in the boss fight and try to defeat her as well. I think that would be cool. And then there's one more boss I had an idea for. That being King Goobot from Jimmy Neutron. He'd be kind of similar to Plankton where he sends out minions to do his dirty work. Like Ublar and maybe even Poltra make an appearance. You try to defeat Poltra. 
and then like eventually King Gubab will come into the battlefield and you have to beat him up until he's dead. I think that could work. You know, other stuff like that I think could work for bosses in this game. There's still a lot of other great options for boss characters like Skulker or Dennis the Hitman from the Spongebob movie, Vexus, maybe even Smidus possibly. Heck, give me Doodle Bob or something. He can like draw different projectiles to attack you with. You know? I think that'd be nice as well. So yeah, those are just some boss ideas that I came up with if bosses have considered being added to the game in the future. Like I said before, I think it'd be a good way to shake up the gameplay, especially for the arcade mode, because if we can be honest, the arcade mode is kind of bland. And I think adding bosses would definitely like, you know, make it more interesting. And like I said before, if they ever add a story mode, which I'm not going to hold my breath that they will, bosses are going to be a necessity. And also, remember a few months ago when I did a video about different game modes I think would be nice to have in the game? If you haven't seen that, of course, link to my Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl playlist will be in the description. But I mentioned survival mode. I think that'd be cool to see in this game. But picture this. During the survival mode, say you're playing as Nigel Thornberry, going up against Toph. After you defeat Toph, suddenly you see like a warning, warning, warning. And the next thing you know, you're fighting Crane. Like the bosses could interrupt the survival mode. And once you defeat them, it will go back to regular survival mode. I think there'd be a nice twist to the mode. They could even make a whole boss rush mode. We have to fight every single boss, like, in a random order. Then that'd be cool too. So yeah, just some ideas of bosses and how they could be implemented into the game. So let me know in the comments below if you guys have any boss ideas of your own. And also let me know the answer to this question. Question of the video. Do you want to see bosses added to Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl? Me? I definitely do. Make a good way to spice up the gameplay, keep it fresh, and balance out the roster. Now, for all we know, maybe bosses are already in consideration from the devs, but we don't know because they're always so quiet. I wish I was a fly on the walls so I could listen to their conversations, but I'm not, so we're we'll gonna have to wait and see what they say. But I still think more stuff is coming to the game soon. I mean, crossplay was data mined, and in the Rocco showcase, I mentioned that. We should look forward to more showcases like this in the future. So I'll be getting some more characters like Jimmy Neutron or something. I don't think we're done with this game just yet. And I'm looking forward to whatever they have to show us next. And that's going to conclude this Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl discussion video. Hope you all enjoyed it. But for right now, it's time for me to hit the road. That's going to be it for today's video. Did you like it? If you did, give me a solid and punch the like button below like a piece of dough. And if this is your first time on this channel, if you like what you saw and you want to come back for more, hit that subscribe button so you become a member of the Pizza Man Mario Party today. Share it out with your friends, your boyfriends, your girlfriends, whoever you want to share it with. Hit that bell and turn on notifications to be the first one to see all the kind of videos. Now that the time, leave a comment. Till next time, this is your boy Mike signing out. So, peace out, y'all. I hope you have a great rest of your day.